by any means necessary. We're gonna record. Happy road, happy road, Insta2. Um, we're gonna put a sink in the studio, is that a good session? Thank you so much. Uh, what up, what up? Yeah, this is nice. Well, Yo, this is what we got? Like, we haven't like quite said everything yet. Yeah, yeah. I want to know where you want to go for first. Okay, okay. But yeah, they're the speakers. I don't know, hopefully that helps. And then, yeah. Nice. What's up, man? Alex. What's up, Lachlan? Okay. He's gonna get some LEDs too. This, you telling me this existed for the whole time we've been doing Jungle Beats? Yeah. <laughs> how long did I tell you guys to come in? I did, I... I said uh, like a month and a half. You were right. Hey guys, come check out this spaceship. Say what? This is a spaceship? What? Hold on, hold on. What are you talking about? So you just like record you on this. Oh, let's do it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the spaceship. <laughs> so we'll just record you is guys. Is this where you guys do your music as well? Yeah, I'll show you some of Ali stuff later on too. Oh, man. We've been right now. Did you thirsty? Please grab a sprite. <laughs> my... Please grab a sprite. My crypt lurk and don't die tonight. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So we'll like, we'll just sync the audio up. We'll do a clap or something later on when it's time to record. Never remember nothing but the <laughs> release. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. Alright, man, that's awesome. It'll just man, go straight that's, into this. That's nuts. Waka! Flocka! Fucking so This is fucking nuts. Um, Brick Squad! <laughs> can he hear me? How, I can. No? I, do, 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 do. I'm gonna. Right. Anyway. Cool. Let's see. Let's go set that up and then we'll go. We in the spaceship. <laughs> Shit's nuts. Eleferios <laughs> Eric, shout out to you, shout out to you, my brother. He's set, helping us set this up. This is crazy. That's it. Man, it's good to see you, man. You too. I'm sorry I couldn't get here earlier. Dude, it's fine. Warehouse coming soon. For now, uh, this is kind of. I hope this is where we'll be. This yeah, is extremely yeah. dope. Uh, thank you to Miggy. The man goes by a lot of names. Eleferios. Eleferios. Eric. The delivery boy. The delivery boy is his producer name. We Hot Papa. <laughs> That's your name. Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it just sounded good, you know. Um, the first video, <laughs> for those who are keenly aware of us, uh, the first video we put, uh, posted yeah, on YouTube, yeah, yeah. Jungle Beats, is he is in it because we were uh, yeah. did an interview with him and Ali Belmont. Ali Belmont. The fucking homie himself. Yeah, who's a st Australian you rapper. You motherfucking soon. You stay fucking tuned, motherfuckers. God damn right. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yeah. He's Jungle motherfucking beats. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what's up. What's your name? They don't I'm, know who uh, your name is. I'm Sean Connor. Uh, it's not true. I'm Alex. I'm Alexander Man. Finally, AKA, AKA the, the king up. of the south. What's that? AKA. He finally doesn't have a Guy, Windows oh, phone. Oh shit! Finally oh, doesn't have a win shit. Doesn't have a Windows Yo, phone. Motherfucking Google Nexus. Hey, I shout got out! Shout out to the oh. Patreon people. You saved my life. You saved his life. You saved my life. But in reality, we haven't got a single dollar <laughs> from yeah, that yet. Because <laughs> it's still on Patreon. We yeah, haven't. I can go on Twitter now. I can go on YouTube. I can go on I got Snapchat for the you first time. You gotta download all that no, social media. I can send moving pictures and make a little puppy ear appear on my face and little nose and shit. I know that. So what's your what's your handle? Is it Alexander Man? It's just Alexander P Man, the Twitter. Uh and that's all really, isn't it? Is that all I gotta do? Yeah. I, I haven't my my Instagram I don't really do much with, but all right, it's man. There. Yeah, pretty much just Twitter and YouTube. I'll just be. I'll you just be you there better be there. active on that Jungle Beats yeah, uh, be, social I mean, media now. Fuck. Work's always quiet during the week, so I can just sit on my phone. All right. All right, let's get to it. Joey motherfucking badass. Just give me an intro on Joey badass. I really haven't. Right, right. I've listened B. to a single album from I him. I first listened to him, I believe, back in probably 2010, around then, when he dropped uh, his, his mixtape, 1999. I'm pretty sure it was around 2010, 2011. And it blew me away, especially the track Survival Tactics, which was a, it was a mix on the beat by, I can't remember the dude's name, unfortunately. But um, yeah, it was a beat that he took back and did a track on there with Capital Steez, RIP, by the way, who, was, who would have been an amazing artist and is an amazing artist, just sucked that he it was gone too soon. He released an album called American Corruption, I believe. Or is that what, is that what Joey Badass album's called? I don't know, man. Either way, Steez dropped a fire project and that track he did, that track he did called Survival Tactics blew up and then 1999 block because pretty much he was the only artist that was still sticking to an exactly 90 sound exactly like non, non sort of new but he just killed everything he touched and too many artists were just trying to start a new wave or join the new cause or you know hit up with that auto tune hit up with all the he was like nah nah I'm gonna go back to these roots and as a 16 year old as well to be delved into that and not be influenced by everything else that's going on through his school 
and people fucked with it because there've been a lot of people, and it was it's it crazy because a lot of the old heads stuck with it, and a lot of the young people who you'd expect to like the new shit loved his shit just as much, and he blew up a lot of places around the world. I knew it with Australia because I had I was training up a lot of people in radio then, and there were these 14, 15, 16 year olds I was training up, and they all fucked with Joy Badass more than any other artist hmm. with who was popping. Really? And then he dropped yeah, so nine 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 got massive for him. Then he dropped Summer Nights. Which is a bit more, a bit more relaxed because uh, 999 was also a lot of a lot of beats that had already been used beforehand because he's a starting artist. He doesn't really have many producers he can go to, so he's using a lot of other people's beats. And then Summer Nights was more he he got the fame, so he had other people's beats that he could rap over. It was a bit more chill, relaxed. He had a lot. He, his Jamaican roots as well was a lot more influence in the music, uh, especially like tracks like When I Was a Ute. And then after that, he dropped his debut album, which was called Before the Money, which did hella well. I well, actually. Well, because he's an independent artist, because it didn't sell massively, but in terms of numbers for an independent artist, he, it did really, really well. And that, ever since then now, look, look how far he's climbed. What are we expecting right now? We're expecting... What's your I, Joe Badass fan he's only, he's only 19, is he 19, 20? He's tw- I think he's like 20, 21 now, 20, He's 21. 21. He's young as hell, man. He released, he released his first mixtape when he was 16. Jesus. He, sound, he sounds like, an, like a relatively established artist well, in yeah, the game. Yeah, his voice has deepened a lot since, and he already had a deep voice at 16, so... He started Pro Era with his group. He's like, they're going pretty good. There's also Kirk Knight on there, an amazing producer. He's got bars as well. Uh, CJ Fly as well released his album not long ago. It was a pretty dope album too. Like he's got a good crew behind him. They've got, they've definitely got, they've got the old school sound, but they're definitely starting new waves in a way. I think he's going to do a lot in this album. I think he's going to stick to what's worked for him. And I also think, because with tracks like Devastated, he's going to try and do some new shit as well, but in a way that is purely him as an artist. I feel like now that he's paved him and what is what is for for like the old school heads? He's now like, all right, now who am I, Joey Badass? Right. How am I going to differentiate myself from what I've built myself upon? Well, I'm nowhere near as uh, experienced with his music as you are, so it's an open slate for me. I've only heard a couple of songs, singles here and there. Yeah. Make, so I'm, I'm open. You are all American Badass, Joey Badass, <laughs> Jungle Beats. Please support us on Patreon. Yeah. Um, if you have the funds and if you want to see us continue to grow, otherwise, still love you. Understand if you can't. Track one, Good Morning America Ooh. with three Ks. Let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking do this shit. Damn. Can I be honest with you? Um... That was a fucking smooth ass intro. That was a smooth ass intro. I wasn't really paying much attention because I was trying to get the Instagram story. But <laughs> he, I, he sat. He sat. <laughs> all about that social life, <laughs> man. Hey, I'm just doing. Hey, do it for do it for the fans. I was, do it for the kids, man. Do it for the kids, man. Um, he sounded like, from what I heard, he was kind of going in a social political direction. Mm-hmm. You hear that? Well, you, you see the cover. It's, it's it's American flag coming out of a uh, beaten up car. So it's it's. Obviously, it's going to be some politically driven yeah, album. Yeah, his expect. stance on it. It's also a very New York driven as well, I've heard. Right. Oh, in terms of what, what he believes in the state of what is, you know, where he's from. Did you listen to anything? You hear anything right there? Like as in like... Lyrically? The track. Uh, I wasn't paying like massive attention because whenever on the first list, I always yeah, like the I beat know. always captures me yeah, first. And it, but if the line catches me, then the line catches me. All right. It's so normal. It's like the Kendricks that do this or this. But I, I dug what he did. His flow switched up a few times. He was definitely right at home on a beat like that. Had that waviness to it. I feel like if that's how he's going to paint the start of this album, I know there's going to be some hard tracks on here. Let's wait and see what we got. For my people, track two. All right. What do you mean I've been up on the ultra like Bean? They don't want to see how they just flash with your face. Every day, they want to see. You know, they start to cops. Before this album came out, he did drop the single Devastated. I didn't like that track. It's on this album. We'll be hearing it later on. Okay. Because it was the first Joey track I ever heard that we had a pop appeal on and I wasn't familiar with it. So I understood the track. I saw what direction it was taking and could see the appeal from there, but I, I didn't dig it. That track there, it was, it was another sort of very poppy tune in my opinion. Like the hook was like, it's the first time. I don't think it's, it's pop. Just, I think it's I pop. I mean, maybe in comparison to what you've heard, but not, not to me. Could you hear that on the radio? Yeah, but. There you go. <laughs> radio is more than pop. Yeah, I don't know. But, it's but I, like, I get that's what the perspective I, you're coming from. It's a radio for, hit, for right? Joy, well, I feel like that's the sort of thing. Because like, I think with the message he was putting out, like, you know, this this is for the people like that are trying to stay alive, they're trying to stay peaceful. And they don't like, want to see you fly. They just want to shoot your wing. They're just going to shoot your wings. Exactly. I, mean, I feel like that in order to get this message across, you probably want to put it in a way which was like very listenable to a lot of people. Right. 
I think that's why he went about this the way he did. I feel like there's going to be tracks on here that will definitely have more of that Joey Badass feel. Because when I listened to this track, I didn't feel like I was listening to Joey Badass. But that's kind of what I was saying before. Maybe this is the, the artist he wants to paint himself as. Because, you know, because people know who Joey Badass is and who, where his influences come from, but who is he, like, individually. So maybe this is what he's going to try to do to that. Okay. I, I dug his verses. I thought everything he was saying was on point. His flow was, you know, switched up a fair bit. But, uh... I don't know. It's just, it's not something that I'd go back to. I felt the hook like was just too, too friendly. I mean, I'm all about the mess of the track, but like I like you know I like to be I like to be fucking punched in the fucking gut. You with know shit. what? I I think what separates a track like this from being memorable and not memorable, like how we're feeling, mm -hmm. is obviously the lyrics have to be there, which we're kind of feeling. The but then the production have to back it up. Yes. To give it that punch. The production didn't really it didn't do too much for me. Like I was bouncing right. away to it. But that's just how I, that's Sorry. just how I am. But I, we'll see how this fits in with the album though. Cause this like, this could be this to me could be a track that could end an album and also start it. Could you imagine this at the end of an album? I could. Yeah. So I just want to see how it all fits in with everything else you've been doing. Track three, Temptation. Like, <laughs> Joey Badass, album title, yeah. I feel like he's tackling this whole idea, this whole social political injustice that is happening around the world. Um, America, there's Amer America's been experiencing, obviously, we haven't mm -hmm. uh, really tasted that, we don't live in that country. But I think he's tackling this in a way, um, unlike to a lot of artists, uh, meaning he's not bringing aggression, he's not bringing anger, Which... he's, he's bringing gospel, somber, soulful, it's a karma vibe. Which I think is quite beautiful because he's known as quite an aggressive artist in ways. Because he yeah. does have that that sort of smooth, sort of like like nice sound like I've been saying. But also if you heard him in tracks like with Mick Jenkins, where he goes hard as fuck, he's known to fucking wild out in a motherfucking track. Um, That's what I was expecting. But yeah, but once again on this track, like it really it's really paving well from like the smooth intro to the track. There's the message is still there, everything's flowing well. So far it's pretty good. But I don't I don't know if I'm enjoying it though, is the question is that's the thing. Like I felt the instrument was beautiful and I was like just jamming out to it, but it's not something that I'd go and listen to in my spare time. I'd put this shit on at work. It's fine for work. Do you think if you lived in America and or was a person of color, you could, it would resonate with you more? Definitely. I think the answer has to be inevitably yes. Definitely, yeah. But I would be curious to see what, you know, what do you guys um, think? Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited. So like, even if I'm not sort of like enjoying it from a personal, in my taste of music, I'm still really enjoying watching Joy Badass grow and what he's doing with himself and music. Okay. And what he's got for the future. So, yeah. Track four, Land of the Free. Three kings, two A's in America. I'm just a black space, born out the level up. This is right to the side of me. It's like they want me to my chance to take this society. But I've been in this vision of what the document's written. We've been lacking the vision and baby making a living. We do what we... Just heavy, man. Oh, man, yeah. Eleftheris, the delivery boy. Is that how you pronounce it? Of Theris? Yeah, I got it. Yo. Man. Welcome to Jungle Beats. It's great to be here. Hey, we're happy <laughs> to have you anytime. Anytime. It's great. Thank you guys for coming through as well. Yo, it's happy all good, man. Happy to help you guys as well. It's all love. Um, man, what a track. What a video. Damn. So that was Joey Badass, Land of the Free. Uh, of the free. second single off his new album. There's a lot in that right there. There's a lot in that music video. Yo. He had like the cops lined up and it looked like different nationalities like he had like there was a you know the different sort of ethnicities going on yes. even the caucasian at the end so like yeah. he was reaching out to everybody in general about like how the police had i guess effect over that and also how the ku klux klan afterwards taking it off like showing cops are still racist as fuck i guess right yeah showing that it, it's just all a disguise like uh, you know any how do you say it you know kind of anybody you don't know who's hiding under that mask mm. right can be anybody but people were making the assumptions. Yeah. And, and just when he was like walking in front, like blocking the bullets, just right. kind of hiding him with his message, like yes. all this should be happening, but I felt that, I'm, right? I'm here to stop this. Right. Like I'm here to just spread love. Uh huh. Like that message was, was, was stopping the brutality. Yeah. But in the end you saw he had a noose around his neck. Mm -hmm. He was dead. I got kind of religious themes from that. Please. Because the scene straight after is you see the kids 
all dressed in white, white running through the field heaven? like a rebirth. Oh, I, was, I saw it more as like a rebirth. A rebirth. So yeah. he sacrifices himself to uh. then bring through the next generation. Oh, kind of like yeah. with the crossbow, kind of like Jesus Christ in a way. Like exactly. Play on, yeah. play on that. That's kind of the, that's what I picked yeah. up from it. Just the fact that they're all dressed in white. It's quite, un, it's like, it's quite angelic. Yeah. So. That's a great pickup. Damn. I think that's definitely something there. And I think Joey saw Vic Mensa's 16 shots. Have you seen that, Eddie? I haven't actually. Okay, it's a music video. Mm. And the mo- Vic does the same thing. He lowers the guns. Yeah. Right? He lowers the guns of the police and kind of to end the violence. I think uh, Joey took inspiration from Zick's, uh, Vic's 16 shots um, to kind of make his own play on it. But that was, a, that was a really great video. I mean, I haven't seen it, but that it would make sense because they're, they're all influencers within the genre, right? A hundred. Mm-hmm. Within yep. the culture. So you would think they would definitely inspire each other. Mm-hmm. And also they would push each other to also motivate others, lift, like lift other people up as well. That's yeah, awesome. it's a powerful song. It's a powerful very video. powerful, and it's definitely fitting in with everything we've heard so far. Yeah, I believe it's I very it's cohesive so far. Yeah. I respect that. All right, next. Oof. What do we got next? <laughs> Track five, devastated. <laughs> We know what the rest of the track is like. Nah, I don't like it, eh? No? I don't like it. Lachlan, do you have? Oh yeah, Lachlan. In the fucking house. Introduce yourself, Lachlan. New guy. New guy. I'm new guy. Lachlan. He stares right down the camera, man. Hello. This I'm man breaking fucks. the fourth wall. This man fucks. He does, dude. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's it's definitely like more of a poppy sound, but like I, I'm mm. liking where the direction's going. Like, it's it's different, you know? Yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm all for artists constantly changing every album, like yeah, just thing, testing thing themselves like and doing new artistry things. Artistry like that, you kind of got to like almost reinvent yourself in a way like that. Yeah. And I think that's just like almost like the next step for Joey. I don't know. I don't know. I was no, no I think that that's, that's on point. This whole album is a reinvention of himself. And also he's, he's got a new message. He's got a new sound. He's, he's rapping different. He sounds different. Like it's all just new for him. Yeah, yeah. That's a radio hit right there. It, uh, it was a radio, very radio hit. Friendly. It was a radio hit. I, I don't oh, like it, it at okay. all. Okay. I, that that I track to me is like so cringeworthy, and that know, skirt could, skirt seal the deal. That's just that's me though. That's lame, but I don't know. I kind of liked it, man. Uh, it's not not for me. If it it's it's from what I've heard, like hearing it though within the context of the album now, it's, it's a lot better. It's that's a straight. That's that follows up. That is the next track in the, isn't it? Yeah, after Land of the Free, it follows and up. It goes into that. It follows total up total well. mood change then. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, if the video makes sense, now it's, everything's okay. Now it's the re- he's reborn. Now exactly. it's the children so coming out. Go. New generation. He used to be so devastated. And now he's... All right. Mm-hmm. Track six. Cool. All right. We're going to leave you... I'm going to leave you guys to it. I'm going to go back right. into the spaceship and... You better come try, back later. Drive that spaceship, baby. I probably will. Maybe. The seats will fill up. <laughs> no, they won't. All right. Did you say it's called spaceship? Or you said you're going to drive No, it's called spaceship. track six, Why You Don't Love Me. I don't know. Because you ain't treat me right, man. Featuring... Oh, no. Brackets, Miss America. Why don't you love me? Joey Badass? Wait, still going. Just five seconds. Best track so far. That was a good track. Best track so far. It had the cadence of All Right by Kendrick Lamar. The cadence. No, no. I feel you. I got that from Elephirios, Eric, the delivery boy, sitting over there. Wait, wait. Oh, he just sent you that? (laughs) He said that as he walked out. Oh, shit. They can't hear. Okay, alright. Right. No, I agree. I agree. I definitely feel that. Um. Yeah. My favorite in terms of sound and the way he did that shit. My favorite track so far. I, it's slow. It's got a great. I like the build so far of this album. Of the tone of it is is it makes sense. 
everything's like flowing together and sounding really good. Impressed so far. Rockabye yeah. uh, from an album. Oh, did you just say Rockabye Baby? I say Rockabye Baby tr- featuring Schoolboy Q. Schoolboy Q. Okay, okay. I've heard this. Uh huh. And when I heard the Schoolboy Q joint, yep. I felt like a good solid minute. Yeah. Fucking tingles over my body. Nah, come on. Pins bro. and needles in my whole body, man. Come on, bro. He kills this shit. All right, let's go. I see what she's saying. Shit, man. That's the best track so far. That is the best track so far. Purely Hands because down. I think that Joey, when he's aggressive, sounds better to me. On those sort of beats, sounds better to me. Schoolboy Q. You look out of breath. Killed that motherfucking shit. The way that the fucking... I can't remember the producer's name. Do you have it on there? I think there was three producers on that track, but there's one main one. The way that he like built that, ba- that beat back up and had like those sort of Asian strings like building up in the background and the drums like came back and you could hear the beat just like... And fucking man, he just killed that shit. One nine hundred and Chuck Strangers. Chuck Strangers, I believe, is like the main one. Yeah. Yeah. He did his thing on that. Fucking. You, I could you almost thing. not tell the difference between Q's verse and Joey's verse. Like the trend, they it's so Dude, effortless. It was so fucking effortless. Right. They like, really and, go well together. To go from like, but from what's the track we heard before? I feel like that was kind of good because like the track before kind of like, still why, had why like the because to me the first four or five tracks of the album had that sort of more. Appeal that could be for more people out there that like, you know, it had, it had that slight pop appeal to me. And I feel like the track before had an essence of that, but it changed up. Whereas this track was like more, more harder. aggressive. Yeah. I feel like the track really set it up before. That's, uh, I, I don't <laughs> usually hear a duo that, that is so c- cohesive together. Yo, and this so is the first time they've ever been in a track together. Really? I'm pretty damn sure. Yeah. Man. Their synergy was, was, was really nice. Mm-hmm. I could hear an album of that. Let's be honest. Fucking in my on opinion. point, man. I had to listen to that shit before it came out. <laughs> I understand. Since it dropped, I saw the cue for it first and I was like, nah, I can't. I had to put it on at work and just wild it out. I had it on repeat for like 10 minutes. Ring the Alarm featuring Nick Caution yeah. and Kirk Knight. Yeah. And who else? Michi Darko. Oh, Flapper Zombies. Oh, shit. Michi motherfucking Darko is on this fucking thing. Me could never hurt me. I'll be on my Eastern Gold. Nick told me first thing. That's the motherfucking Joey Badass that I want to hear. That's crazy. Fuck, man. Another track with a production, like... Like, it continually was changing. Like, there was, like... With each sort of artist, they'd sort of take... They just sort of added more elements to it. And it really just complemented all those artists on that track. And even Michi just, like, doing, like, hick and bridge, hook and bridge duties there, like... Fucking killed that shit. I don't know who was on the... Was it, I don't know who was on the last verse, but Kirk Knight and Nick Caution, like, they both did their fucking thing. Like, to go from... Rocket by Baby... To ring the alarm those two tracks alone to me hold more weight in terms of bringing me to life aggression like holding my attention whereas the start of the album more held my attention purely by the lyrical sense of it and the message behind it but the beats just didn't carry it for me it was this it's carrying it for all me. of it all of that shit man all of that shit fuck yeah that track was fucking so fucking good <laughs> Flapper Zombies, man. I didn't know Michi fucked with that shit. That's so cool. That was a good surprise. For me? <sighs> Top five track of 2017 so far. There you go, man. Top five track 2017. Ooh, I thought Rockabye Baby's in top five for me. So after hearing that shit. If we talk about top five songs with a feature verse, then that's one of the best in, so far for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I mean, we still haven't heard some of the albums, but you know. <laughs> we kept, we getting there. We're getting there. But that's I was damn man really enjoyed that yo the whole way through that 
Everything was on point. Everything. Oh, shit. Yo. Super Predator. Don't fuck up after that. Holy shit. Featuring Styles P. Timberland. Hot elevator music right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is the A grade elevator music. Bro. Ooh. That was real smooth. I vibed out to that. Are you familiar with Styles P? Hey? Are you familiar with Styles P? No. Please He's be been educated. around like, I think 15, 20 years. He rapped with D Block. He rapped with uh, a few albums for Locks. So, like with Jada Kiss. Uh, so I can remember right now, but he's like he's pretty he's pretty big up there. Like he had he had his job, but he hasn't really been much in the spotlight for the past few years. He's done a few solo projects. So for Joy to show props, that shows that he's a fan of that like sort of underground, heavy sort of sounding hip hop that's around those sort of times. So. And it did have that underground vibe mm -hmm. to it. Like it really took it back. I really feel like the after Ring the Alarm that this track really just like it. I feel like it was kind of like too soft. Like I really enjoyed this track. Don't be wrong. Like the production, the flow of it, it's all good. It's very it's the Joy Badass that I know and love. But it, like following up from the alarm, it was kind of like a huge, just like you know, it's like, it's like you climb the mountain, we climb the mountain slowly, it reaches apex, but then it dipped too fast, right? Mm. It didn't come down slow enough. Well, I think felt. that that's maybe why with um with um the was there. I just feel like maybe I feel like when the albums do that, I really like just certain like long long outros on songs that sort of slow it down, so it sets the tone oh, up. Oh, that's smart. I yeah. kind of like when albums do that because it really just keeps it smoother flowing. Yeah, that is smart. So um, but yeah, really good. I've really loved the last three tracks on point. Wasn't huge on the first four or five, but these three are like fucking on point. Third last track, Babylon featuring Chronics. I really like the brass instrumentation there. Ooh. Adds a really <coughs> good soulful element. That was a good song. I really liked the... I, I thought there was BJ in there, but it was Chronic that was doing the stuff Chronics, in there. Yep. That was beautiful in the background. The B once again was great. It even like had that sort of like the suits, just had that old school sort of sound in the back of it too. It was just like, I just... I fuck with that song. It was a good track. And the way that Joey like... With his flow just like boom and all of a sudden came up with the more higher pitched aggressive vocals as well. Like his voice is breaking like just even oh. over the softer instrumentation. Yeah, which I thought worked really well. I fucking uh, it's just weird because I know that like I know this album is flowing one. I know that the first half a lot of people are gonna love, but I just I, just, I have to go back and listen to this again. But I, I didn't really like the start of this album, but like the way it's finishing is really good. And I think there'd be people conversely having the opposite opinion. Well, yeah, that's what, that's what I read like about. Ending. That is exactly what I read about. I read a few thoughts on this. A lot of people loved the start of the album and didn't like the way it ended. Oh, so. I feel the opposite as well. I feel like, yeah. Second last track, and it makes sense to see this feature on here. Mm -hmm. I feel like this feature will go very cohesively well after hearing his last couple projects, and that is J. Cole oh, on God. the track called Legendary, second last track. Come on, man. What do you mean? I just like getting J. Cole up in here after that shit. Fuck yeah. Let's fucking go. How much does a man need? How much can he hoard before he's greed? How can a rich father teach humbleness to his seed? Just questions the stubborn all get taught. Tough lessons. Hmm. I think about that too. J. Cole did his thing. Real smooth. Even when he came in, I was like, is this Joey or is it Cole? Because like, it was just... I, I, that, yeah. It's, it's funny fluid. how that happens again. The features on this album have all been very Quality. impressive. All been Even impressive. Even the ones we don't necessarily... No. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know Chronic. It was on point. Like Every every single feature that I've heard so far has been used to exactly what they should be used to. Not I don't know if that's the producer, producer doing that. If it's just the artist really feeling what Joey's doing. I'm going to give it to Joey. Give it a but joy. I'm sure it's a team effort as well. Definitely a team effort. Um, yeah, this album's closing beautifully. That was yeah. a great track. Another smooth track. Um, really J. Cole weird. verse was conscious. J. Cole did his thing. That's a J. Cole thing. The verse was very J. Cole. The verse, conscious. The verse was, it wouldn't surprise me if he produced it, actually. Conscious, self-aware, um, speaking on things he's spoken about before. Mm -hmm. uh, last track, track 12, American Idol. Why does he put so many letters in here? Is that three Ks? Three Ks. KKK. American. Well, because um, Capital C's album was America Corruption with three Ks. That. 
I see. And the video land of the free, the KKK. Let's go. Thing. I had to come out for this one. Right. Hey, what's up? E delivery boy. Ali Belmont, all that kind of shit. Get on. This is Jungle Beats. <laughs> hey, you know what it is. Ooh, <laughs> you know what it shit. is. That was That is one way to close the album. That's how you make an album. And the slide bits was crazy. And how were those like were those toms in the background? They just kept like coming in. Like that was sick. The the, the effects on his vocals. Oh the yeah. oh. the, 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 the like like Everything. sort of like sort of like you know the like the American like I feel like mm. Had that effect of like, they're not trying to let me hear my message. So I'm going to get it out in a way that like, I don't know, had that sort of effect. Like they don't want me to put this out, but I'm speaking my mind. No one's going to stop me. Mm -hmm. Had that sort of feel on it. Mm -hmm. No, I get it. Like a transmission's being mm -hmm. cut off. Yeah, exactly. That's the sort of effect I feel it had. That's really smart. Mm. He was saying a lot. A lot. I didn't catch much, eh? That's why I have to close <laughs> my eyes because I, that's why I, you like, block out everything, I feel man. like the, the lyrics and what he's saying. Um, I'm really impressed. Dude. I'm very, very impressed. That's how you close an album. That's how you really make a cohesive album. I honestly think that he could have started with this and ended with some of the other stuff That's as well. That's the beautiful part though, because now you want to go back to the start. I do. What do we miss? Yeah, oh. right. Now, you, now you've heard this last track. He, he, oh. I feel like I could play this track from this track to the first and still hold the same sort of weight. It'd just be like the message would just be like, you know? I, hey, that ties into the whole rebirth concept, the cyclical nature of life. It would it'd tie in real well. Maybe maybe intended that. I don't know. All I know is that like I didn't really enjoy the first five tracks, but the last six, seven, is it like 12, 10, 11, 12 tracks? Yeah, yeah. I really like, that was pretty near flawless to me. And all the features, like we've said, every feature was on point, not even like average or subgrade. They were all up to standard. It's not often that we hear an album or I hear an album. Usually we're like, you know, we just heard more life. You know, that shit's all over the place. That's a playlist, whatever the fuck that is. That's that's sound of every sounds everywhere. Um, we get a lot of albums that are all over the place, no real mm -hmm. direction. Mm -hmm. This is a very focused body of work. He stayed on topic the whole time, which to, I think yeah, it's hard for an artist to do. You got to be disciplined, right? It's so tempting. Women, bitches, money. What's going on? Oh, it's, this happened. This happened. It kind of makes me think, like, what time frame did he write this whole album? Because it's so easy to just, like, as you're going through life, to just get sidetracked. I wouldn't be just, surprised if this is, like, a month. Yeah, or even just, I wouldn't be surprised if it's two weeks of right, writing. Right, And then just, just like, all, hammer and then it everything out. else in terms of, like, he had everything. And then just, like, getting the features, getting the masters, right, yep. around, like, just, get, like, Blonde, I Blonde was three weeks by Frank Ocean. There you go, like, I just, it'd be nice to, like, look into it and see how he went around making this album and, you know, and all that sort of ish. Absolutely. I think it, yeah, it has that feeling of just, that pure expression uh -huh. mm. not yeah not not it's not adulterated you're not held back by the the, the, the thing, like the inner editor it's just like this is what i'm this is what's on my mind i'm gonna get this out and because of that there's a lot of, it sounds like there's a lot of confidence it's awesome 20 yeah. years old 2021 is he 20 jesus christ yeah and i also like the fact that like he's getting his message across to his old fans for some of the shit we've heard and also to a lot of his new fans because i didn't really like the way he went about the first few tracks but i just love the way that he's just, you know, trying different things and he, it's working. I can tell, I, I could still not like a track and just know that it's a good track and that it works. You could like it eventually though, right? It, exactly. I'm going to go back to this. Which always, is like, I always. think it's always important as an artist to do, to do oh, yeah. that. That's why like we always come back That's and be like- That's the floor of what we do here. It's a first reaction but we review. Always, but I feel like mm. the more time we have, the more we'll be able to come back to things and like be like, oh, so this week you go and like, because it changes, man. Of course. Favorite tracks always change. What you feel about certain things have changed. Like, it's the beauty of it. Great job, Joey Badass. Um, yeah, really impressed. You're around 20 years old and making this. Give it five years and I wouldn't be surprised if you top five. 
Not at all. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. I feel like he's definitely setting the mark for rappers. This is. He's beaten rappers out. The five, ten years older than him. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm just, yeah. I'm just great job. again with the features, man. Great fucking like, job. Beautiful. Um, really beautiful. impressed. Jungle Beast Radio. <laughs> It's not Jungle Beast Radio. Radio. Yeah, we ain't on Radio no more. We got kicked out of the studio, man. <laughs> that, that's that's how. Um, thank you, Eric, cool. for having us. Of course. Um, Anytime. Really appreciate it. We're in Ab- Where are we? The Abbey Institute? Abbey Road Institute. Abbey Road Institute. It sounds like a, that sounds classy. As well, fun. man, th- you know, thank you to Abbey Road in London for opening this up. Oh, that's where it's linked Hell to? Hell yeah. Yeah, the Beatles Mad and shit. Luck. That's why John Lennon's all over the place. Shit. Hey, Jungle Beast going to be up <laughs> on the walls very soon. Well, <laughs> in 10 years, maybe. Um, help us <laughs> do that. Maybe. Uh yeah, man. Um, I ain't got shit else to say. All I got to say is I, I really enjoyed the uh, second half of the album. Going to go back, keep listening, see what I miss. Because like, there's a lot that I miss from this album. This isn't the studio, by the way. Abbey Road Institute oh, yeah, yeah. is not the warehouse. No, 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 this ain't the guys, studio. Yeah, this is me just purely being like, hey guys, I love what you guys are doing. Please come through. Yeah. I want to help you guys if you, out. If you dig through our videos and find one of our first ones, we interview this motherfucker with Ali Bell. <laughs> first video. First, yeah, video. first, first video. Um, yeah. That's where it all started. <laughs> yeah, man. Done. Yeah, we're good. So it all comes full circle, eh? Wow, there you go.